Hello, it's Zafia Mazur and today I would like to share with you the results of a personality test that I took from the site uh, understandingmyself.com. Uh, that test was created by Jordan B. Peterson and his team. And I have a huge respect for Jordan B. Peterson. I am his follower and I uh, watched so many, so many videos of his lectures to understand myself better. And I took that uh, test uh, with that reason to understand, to improve which area I'm still uh, on the weak side and which areas I'm okay and I can keep going. Uh, so that, that's my recommendation absolutely for you uh, to take that test to, so you can have that improvement faster. You, I know that personality doesn't change uh, so fast, but uh, if you are aware, if you are aware, yes, you can, you can go uh, with that growing faster. So that personality test is based on the big, uh, big uh, uh, personality trait five. And each of that five has two components, two more dimensions. And it's a wonderful, a wonderful thing about those two extra dimensions uh, that you will, you will understand and see yourself like, why wow, I'm here, here, here <laughs> with so many dimensions. Um, and because uh, yes, that personality, it's not, not so like uh, linear and clear and, and, and simple. It's like more, this is like a basic, I would say. You are more, you still more than this, but still good to know your foundation, uh, good to understand that foundation and, 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 and know that, that you can uh, go in the different dimensions uh, uh, like uh, in, in incredible, incredible uh, growth and and and, and uh, many ways as as well. Uh, that's what we are able <laughs> to as a humans. It's a it's a beautiful thing to be a human. And so the first the first uh, uh, trait of those big five is agreeableness. Uh, I know I. I still have a trouble to <laughs> pronounce that word, so please, please forgive me for that. And I'm very high. I, I, I'm a very agreeable person. Uh, yeah, I can agree <laughs> a lot. And I'm also a compassion, so I love uh, people and i polite. Uh, I don't want to harm. I'm very polite. Uh, uh, I know my ways. I see, uh, I, I like people. I, I generally, I. I'm, I'm very open and, and, and like people. Uh, is it a, a good way to agree with them all the time? No, no, it's not. And I would say that it's my weak part, uh, but it, it, it's me. That's why I developed other, other traits uh, uh, st very strongly uh, to somehow compensate for, for that weak part of me. Uh, and, and know how to talk and, 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 and use the ways that uh, I not really, uh, I don't have to be in the face of people, but, uh, but make them understand that this way is better and, and this way could not be uh, the best way of uh, acting. Uh, so so that, that's my approach. Uh, if I, I am more peacemaker, than, than making trouble. That, that's absolutely about me. Because the other traits, yes, I'm, I'm peacemaker. And I, and I know how to make peace. <laughs> that's, that, that's very strong. That's very strong. So in one way, it's like a minus for me. But on the other way, it's like huge plus. Because the other parts of my personality are very strong. If you have a different... <laughs> Um, different numbers. Uh, uh, probably, if you hide here, it would be your your big big minus. Uh, but anyway, let's let's keep going. Uh, the second the second trait of uh, that big five is conscientiousness, and I'm very high as well. So it means that uh, I'm know what's going on. Like I'm conscious. I'm I'm conscious. Uh, about things, uh, uh, situations, uh, and I'm interested, interested uh, to know what's going on. And uh, mm, I, I will read something about from, from that trait. 
I went too far. Let me go back. Uh, and then, um, oh. not here, not here, not here. Okay, okay, I'm here. Uh, that uh, I, I will read. Uh, I will read from from the description that I've got uh, about uh, uh, very high conscientiousness. People are strictly beautiful. Uh, yes, it, it, it's true. If uh, something needs to be done and it's my duty, I will do it, no matter what. Uh, they work. I uncommonly hard and they hate wasting time. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe too hard, maybe too hard. That's the, 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 the minus, but I'm not aware of it uh, because I enjoy, I enjoy my work. So if you do enjoy, that's the only hope for you. If you are very high in conscientiousness, that, that it's okay for you because you enjoy what are you doing and you, you don't need many breaks like other people because they hate what they do. So, you know, they, they need more, more break. Uh, and all, also very high um, uh, conscientiousness people, uh, they are uncommonly decisive, neat, organized, future-oriented and reliable. Uh, they are not easily distracted. And that's the most, most of, of, of whatever I read. It's about me. Uh, very decisive. I sometimes, because I'm, I'm very decisive, uh, I can make mistakes. But uh, I understood uh, some time ago, it took me a while to understand that without that decisive decisiveness, I probably would not go anywhere because I would be afraid to make the decision, uh, to, to make that step, uh, always afraid that it's going to be wrong or, or to think too much. Um, but I'm still okay with my decisions because they are not um, compulsively uh, taken. I, I take a time, I take a time uh, to think about the next step. Uh, that, that, uh, that the second trait, conscientiousness, has two more traits, two more dimensions, industriousness, indu industriousness, uh, and I'm very high, exceptionally high, 98. And uh, what about uh, exceptionally high people, industriousness people? They live to work and always have to be doing something useful. Mm. <laughs> But uh, because, uh, like I said, I love what I do, mm, I don't complain. If uh, you are in a different situation and, and you don't really uh, like what you are doing and you are like uh, very high in, in duty, so it, it, it's going to be painful. It's going to be painful for you to, to do things that you don't like to do and 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 you work so hard on it and you still that have that uh, not satisfaction, that you are not in the place where you would like to be. Uh, so yes, the recommendation, find your way, find your pro pro uh, f uh, profession that uh, you can expand your knowledge and um, you can make money at the same time. Yeah, it's important, but if you put money first and, and, and then you are not really happy, uh, then you never gonna be happy. At at least when you put your talents and 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 you love what you do, uh, it's not that easy. I'm not saying that it's easy, uh, but put those attitudes, even if it's not what you uh, can expect. But put that, those attitudes that you love and and you want to do your best, and it will help uh, clarify a lot and, and will give you that that uh, that courage uh, to to change change things, uh, uh, either grow in the company that you are or change for another company, you, you will get that uh, courage and uh, you won't be worried that, um, uh, that you will lose money or, uh, or you would be worried about uh, um, uh, your existence. Uh, the, um, the conscientiousness, the, 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 second, the second dimension of that uh, trait is uh, orderliness and I'm moderately high. So moderately high people uh, mm, 
are more discussed, sensitive than average, somewhat, uh, ju somewhat judgmental and have tendency toward more authoritarian polit uh, political attitudes. I'm not sure if I like authoritarian political <laughs> attitudes. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's probably, it's probably I know, but modernly, uh, modernly orderly people can be somewhat disturbed, even disgusted by mess and chaos. And disgusted, I would say, uh, too much. No, no, no. There is no way. But maybe I don't know. By mess and, and chaos, yes, I, I do like order, and uh, wherever I go, I just see things that could be improved. I go to the store and I, oh wow, it's a chaos here. Uh, you are not inviting people uh, in the uh, proper way uh, because some somehow when there is order and you come to the store and everything in order, you want to buy things you like, even if it's so many, but there is. There is uh, uh, an written order in everything because there was the person behind that knew how to put things together. And, and you like the store and you like to buy from that store. But if there is a chaos mess, uh, um, uh, I, I won't revisit. I won't revisit that, <laughs> that place anymore. Uh, they like everything where it should be and are happier if, this, if it stays uh, where it it should be. They are somewhat detail-oriented, but tend uh, not to be obsessive. Yeah, of course, I'm not obsessive person. That's uh, I was always afraid to be uh, obsessive too much because I know that it's like uh, I would go uh, too much in in, my, in one way. Uh, yeah, take a humor, take take a little bit, you know, of of your of your uh, uh, that 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 part of. Uh, personality, like, uh, not that seriously, that's what I would like to say. Uh, they are generally aware of social rules and tend to abide by them. Oh, yeah, follow the rules. They are like routine uh, and prefer the predictable. Uh, who doesn't? Predictable. I know that it's hard to predict, but that what uh, you do things. Because in your understanding, in my understanding, if I start to read more, um, then I can um, have a better conversation. So it's like a prediction, pre predictable. Uh, and I like that predictab predictability, otherwise I would not do it. And uh, those who are moderately orderly um, are more likely to be political conservatives. Yes, I'm, I'm, uh, I am a member of a conservative party. Yes, um, why? Because I came from a socialistic country uh, and I know what the socialis so socialism uh, means uh, uh, by experience, not uh, by intellectualization. Uh, if you don't if you never experienced and you just go to Cuba for vacation, oh, it was fun, I paid just a little and had so much fun. And you don't see what's going on there, truly. You, you are not able. And stay there for a while. For some reason, there are, there you will find a few that will like it <laughs> because they are, they are lazy and and not really future-oriented people. Uh, and, and then you will see. Uh, it is a different story uh, to have a simple life uh, uh, by choice. But simple life, it's not the same like repressed life. And Cubans absolutely are not uh, li uh, living simple life. Uh, they are repressed in, 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 any, in every way. Be because that country is socialistic. That's the truth. The third, uh, uh, the third trait of, of uh, that uh, big five, it's extraversion. Uh, extraversion on, on introversion, uh, but I'm high in extraversion. I'm high in extraversion, so that, 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 that part 
uh, was like a surprise because I thought that I'm introverted person. Uh, I like to be around people, but I'm not gaining that energy from them. Uh, I just rather uh, gain ideas for for the next article or for the next video. Uh, how can I improve? What can I talk about? But uh, um, maybe maybe uh, maybe that uh, extraversion is high because I don't. I'm not really afraid to be in front of people, and I'm not really afraid to uh, to to take that uh, leadership as well. I am not. Uh, now I'm not uh, afraid to to have a speeches in front uh, of people, so I like that. So maybe that's why I, I'm I'm very high uh, enthusiasm. The extraversion has a two dimension, like each of the traits. Enthusiasm, fifty three. Uh, so so I'm I'm typical or average. Yes, I'm I'm enthusiastic. Uh, uh, in the typical way, <laughs> and assertiveness. I'm very high in assertiveness. It, it, it is a good, to tell, you, to tell you the truth, assertiveness is a very important part of your personality. It's better to, to be more assertive, from my understanding, than less. So very assertive people are uh, take charge uh, types. Uh, uh, they put their own opinions forward uh, uncommonly strongly and tend to dominate and control so social situations. Uh, yes and no, but I, I, I always take charge, to tell you the truth. It's not like I force people to my opinion, but I always find a way to, to talk more, to talk more. So if I'm wrong, it's okay, but let's talk about it. Uh, very assertive people uh, can be strictly influential and captivating. Uh, they have the uh, communication style that is often associated with uh, leadership. Uh, you, will, you, will, you will see about my communication style, if I can communicate it <laughs> um, clearly. Um, because uh, when I came to Canada, that was my uh, only concern, how long it will take to, uh, to learn that language that I love so much. And it took me a while because when I came, it was uh, almost nothing. Uh, I, I, I had three, uh, three semesters uh, on university uh, back home, but it was like a beginning, the, the, the first steps, the baby steps of, of knowing um, how do you do. <laughs> That's when I came, I, I, I was able to, to, to um, um, say to people, uh, uh, but then I realized that they don't use how do you do, they use how are you. <laughs> yeah, it's fun, it's funny, but I, you know, I, I'm happy with the level uh, 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 that of my, of my uh, uh, English. I'm happy, but still working on it. You, you see how I uh, have a trouble with some words and I'm working on it. Uh, I do my best. Uh, Assertive people are people of action. They don't wait for others to lead the way, but leap in uh, heedlessly. Um, yeah, I, I don't wait. I, I go, I go. If something, like if there's a group of people and they're thinking uh, I should do it or not, <laughs> I already uh, in the front. Uh, liberals tend to be slightly less assertive than conservatives. I, I'm conservative. And I'm slightly high. <laughs> it's true. The fourth, uh, the fourth uh, trait of of uh, uh, that pick five is uh, neuroticism, and I exceptionally low. Good for me, good for me, uh, because uh, it's uh, it is uh, it is uh, talent, talent. I guess the major challenge here for most of us to make it lower as possible, uh, not to be so suspect, uh, uh, um, so sensitive to negative emotions, because if you are, uh, if you don't know how to deal with um, negative emotions, uh, though, uh, these emotions, negative emotions, will eat you up. Uh, and I'm on the way to make many 
video uh, videos about that because I know that's the major part that we all struggled, uh, struggle and struggled. Uh, I I learned uh, uh, over maybe the last ten years how to deal with that uh, negative emotions uh, effectively, and and I was like uh, wow, very very happy with the number because it was not in my awareness that I'm I'm very low and I withdraw it's a, like a very low four and uh, vo volatility one exceptionally low. So it, it means that my personality is stable. It's like if you tell me something uh, uh, with intention to, to harm me uh, by words, uh, you know, I, I will look at you differently. I won't have a hate. Uh, uh, I won't uh, uh, be disgusted by you. But I look at you like w where you are. I, I have that ability. Uh, to to just step back and say, oh, uh, uh, where that uh, mm, perception of this person is coming from, uh, and and it, it's 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 very strong, it's very strong personality uh, trait for me because of the number, and uh, very important. And if you are low, it's better, it's much much better because life be, uh, will become uh, easier and easier if you are not on mercy of uh, negative emotions. And the, the fifth trait, uh, openness to experience. And I'm very high, open to experience. So I like new concepts, I like new ideas. Uh, e even though my uh, orderliness is uh, 76, moderately, moderately high, uh, and I like things that where you are and wh where they are, uh, it, it, it's it, it's okay because I'm I'm very so I, I allowed myself to uh, uh, to to look at things in, in new ways in new concepts and and that's what's driving my life basically. Uh, it, it's not like uh, I want to be uh, in the same perception because uh, I understood that my perception is only the point of view right now, if I expand in understanding and in knowledge and information, I, I am allowing myself to, uh, to uh, see a different perception. And uh, so it's like a, a little bit fluid, fluid part of me that uh, I'm strong and it's helping me to have that um, uh, stable uh, personality. But still, at the same time, allowing me, allowing myself, I allow myself to, uh, to, uh, to be open for a new ideas and new concepts, and uh, the intellect. Uh, that openness to experience has two dimension. Intellect. I'm very high in intellect, uh, so like open for a new new ideas. Uh, so it's a it's a good part. I I, I like I like to, uh, like I said, I, I like. <laughs> Uh, that number, and also openness uh, by itself, openness as uh, open to beauty, to art, to music. Uh, what I understood over over my personal growth, uh, over years and years, I don't know, ten, maybe more now, because I, I just uh, put that that work on myself for so, so many years, uh, what I understood that mm, classic, classic music, uh, uh, classical music and art, uh, I always uh, was like uh, uh, amazed with art. Uh, it's just the source, uh, uh, source of, 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 of that uh, openness uh, for beauty. If you don't like classical music, ask yourself why. Maybe you won't get an answer. Just try to uh, uh, listen uh, classical music from time to time and, and find yourself with the feeling where you are. If there is like a, a kind of, uh, I don't really like it, it means that, that probably you are not uh, high in openness. and and. You, you, you will not see beauty 
the way that you are able to, that's what I uh, want to say. So the, the, the way to, to see that beauty, uh, again, uh, just uh, try, try to listen uh, classical music m more. Uh, Beethoven, it's, uh, it's beautiful, Chopin, uh, uh, it's like uh, Bach every day. Try a little bit. Uh, in the, uh, if you don't like classical music, just just try to put it in in, in uh, small doses, <laughs> uh, because uh, why we are here for? What do you think? Why we are here for? I truly believe that uh, we are here to grow, that we are here to make the best what we can make from ourselves. <coughs> And it requires work, absolutely. <coughs> Sorry. It requires work and uh, that uh, be open, have that willingness to put that work and, uh, and be certain that you will make the best of yourself over the time. But over the time, so give yourself a time, take a test uh, to know to understand and to know yourself better and to have a little bit of humor, <laughs> put the humor uh, for, uh, uh, over the numbers and move forward and, and start to read more, start to listen to Jordan Peterson uh, more and others as well mm. and, and uh, uh, allow allowed yourself uh, uh, to be inspired uh, because that inspiration uh, will keep you going and, and look at me. I'm 58 and I'm, I'm so inspired. Uh, I so inspired about life. Uh, I think that's the greatest gift uh, that we've got and the greatest chance uh, to make it. And, and don't put yourself down. If you will understand yourself, uh, you will never, you will never put yourself down again. So see you uh, on my uh, other videos. Uh, I, I, I want to <laughs> recommend for you as well, but yeah, take the test. Take the test this time. See you again.